In my last video, I covered why mortgage rates are going up. It's not the Fed doing it. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I'm doing a short series here in the next couple of videos to cover some of the misinformation circling out there because I want you to be informed. Whatever you decide to do, if you're looking to purchase something right now, it's not a terrible time to do it. Now let's talk about a couple of realistic scenarios if you have to or just want to buy real estate right now. And if you're selling real estate right now, this is also good info for you. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's get started. Let's cover one or two basic strategies to purchase investment properties and primary homes in this market. Realistically, this will work mostly for those who either have some cash saved up or for any other reason can afford some loose cash to spend. What's the easiest way to get into a good deal? Well, all that money that you've been saving up to be more competitive, you can now use to buy some points down. Did you know that you can reduce your 6% interest rate on your mortgage that you're being quoted right now down by a point or a point and a half? Four and a half, five percent sound a lot better, right? It'll reduce your payment by hundreds of dollars a month. And here's the thing to remember, you make your money on the purchase of real estate, not the sale. I've said this before. So because the market is less competitive right now, some people just can't afford the down payments to get a price to a reasonable monthly payment, you likely will have some negotiation room on prices. Now that said, we're also in a place where sellers are reducing prices naturally when those homes are overpriced for market conditions. But here's a tip for both buyers and sellers. The last two years, listing agents and sellers were pricing homes up, meaning that they added two to 5% to the actual market value of the home when they listed, or more in some cases because things were so competitive and they could get away with it. And values were literally going up by 5% a month in some places at peak times. So the biggest change that you can take advantage of right now as a buyer is to offer a more reasonable, realistic price for a home that's been on the market for a while, looks like it's priced up, or one that's just hit if it's a little bit high, homes should be listing at a reasonable price point right now. And I'm not saying that they're not, but I'm seeing prices come down on houses that have been on the market for a while. Now here's my last tip. Again, this works if you have cash to spend. Obviously, you can look for deals on this market. There are more and more off-market opportunities coming up. Call me, I'll tell you all about the ones that I'm aware of. If you can spend $150,000, you can buy an investment property right now. But also, if you have that much, you'll have to spend it all to get the debt numbers right so you can actually have a net income. But that's not hard money to find for investors that are wanting to expand right now. That's what businesses do during these down times, expand and reinvest in their inventory. Some are buying new inventory. Now here's the tip. Spend the cash now because you can get a better deal that way. And once you have the inventory, because the value is going to go up, you'll be able to flip the financing when rates are a little bit better the next year, the next few months even. Put the cash back in your pocket, do it again. At that point, you've got the equity. Now, I'm aware that this is not news to seasoned investors, but it's never a bad time to remind. And I want to speak to this because from what I see, boots on the ground, the deals are there. Don't miss the forest for the trees. You want to know more about my thoughts, what I'm looking at, I'll be happy to share. Call me anytime and I'll see you in the next video.